Hey everyone, welcome to Dining at Tiffany's. We're continuing with season two comfort food remake. So today I'm gonna teach you how to make ice cream cake. And today we're also gonna talk about a concept that I came up with called residual love. And so residual love is a phenomenon that happens when something good comes to an end unexpectedly or sooner than you would have liked. You know, whether it's a breakup or, you know, graduation's coming up for a lot of you, um, friends moving away, you know, friends moving for jobs, things like that, you know. Um, we get sad when good things come to an end in general, right? And so um, you have all this energy left that used to be towards that, you know, whether it be the person you used to date or having that friend close by all the time in life, whether that's in school or at work, things like that, right? And so what do you do with all that energy? Um, for me, um, I like to use that residual love to just spread positivity. So um, one example for my life is when I got out of a relationship, it was really kind of difficult for me because um, all the energy that I was giving to that object of affection had nowhere to go. So I just wanted to, had all this like love inside of me that I just wanted to give away, right? Not like that. Uh, what I actually did was um, around that time I started to be extra affectionate with my girlfriends. So then there'd be like hugs for people, kisses on the cheek, um, planning out dates with their friends, things like that, and just trying to um, use it in a positive way instead of just letting it keep me down or just letting myself fall apart, right? And then of course when things come to an end, we get kind of sad, right? And a lot of us gravitate to your friendly tub of ice cream, right? And so similar to residual love, um, today I'm gonna talk about um, using the leftovers from those sad days of eating ice cream and turning it into something positive. So I have here um, actual leftovers for me trying to get through some hard times and we're gonna put it into an ice cream cake, um, turning the fact that you got through it and got over it into a celebration. All right, so let's go make that ice cream cake.
ready for some ice cream cake right now. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make ice cream cake together. It's a really easy, simple technique that you can do at home. You know, it's all about using that residual love to make something happen. You know, a lot of times when things come to an end unexpectedly, we feel like things are out of control. But by making something happen, you can make a difference in your own life and feel like you're taking control of the changes. It's up to you to move forward. So, you know, you could do anything from like what I did, make an ice cream cake. Um, you can do some crafting. You could, I don't know, run a 5K. So yeah, let me know. What are some positive changes that you can make in your life to use that residual love to take control of your life and just keep on moving forward? Um, leave your ideas in the comments below. I would love to read them so we could all just help each other, encourage one another to keep on going. And again, this recipe is on my website at diningattiffany's.com and we'll see you next time. Thank you.